Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am a pastor, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, a minister, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube on your channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Listen to us on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Music, Amazon Music, and other digital platforms available to you. You know, now we see things imperfectly, like puzzling reflections in the mirror, but then we will see everything with perfect clarity. All that I know is partial and incomplete, but then I will know everything completely. Just as God knows me completely, 1 Corinthians 13, 12. We often see difficult circumstances through a narrow lens that doesn't let in all the light or the complete image. We often have tunnel vision, don't we? That robs us of the entire picture that surrounds us. When I think of suffering, pain, tragedy, and loss, I try to remind myself that what I can understand is entirely limited by the mere fact of my humanity. I'm not God. I surely don't know all, cannot see all, cannot understand all that is involved in every situation, but I must try to allow God to be God and trust in his decisions and oversight. With all of our studying of the scriptures and what we believe the Bible teaches, we still have times where things that have happened just don't make any sense. Life can deliver us very painful blows, striking us so hard that we fall to our knees. Afflictions of all sorts and sizes can disable us, cripple us, and make us feel very, very small compared to our trying circumstances. God has created each day, each moment with purpose. Sometimes we see things imperfectly and other seasons will, you know, bring enough clarity to see the loveliness of God's concealed work. So, you know, I'm going to give you my educated answer on the why question. I just don't know. I don't have God's mind. I don't share his perspective with every why. I've ever voiced my God's assurance has been answered. With every darkness I've ever encountered, God pierces with light until uh, uh, gives me faith to dispel the doubts of my human frailty. Our lives are very short on this earth. And sometimes God trusts us with pain and misery, with loss and separation of the things we love and cherish. However, the Lord may not give us good answers to the losses that we feel each and every day deep in our hearts, but I think if we will look up, we will cling to the shred of hope that we have with Jesus. We can get through today, we can get through tomorrow, next week as well. Being a born again uh, children of God does not mean we are perfect or always reasonable or never be weak. It merely means that we are willing to look up, to call out to our Lord in our circumstances, good or bad, and trust that in the end, when we finally see the entire picture, it will make sense so that when we uh, when you wonder why, remember, we may never know all the answers. Until then, my friends, let us lay our pain, our frustration, our anger, our suffering, and our hardship in Jesus' capable hands and trust the Lord completely and not worry so much about the wise. Just press into him, seek him, with all your heart and trust him 100% completely. I'm still here on Long Island at the LeQuinter Hotel, but you can call me at 844-405-HELP because you and I, we can help each other take our lives back, be good to yourselves, always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change your day and can make a difference in my day as well. Let today be your first day of leaving the wise 
in God's hands and know that God is completely in control. May God bless each and every one of you. And remember, God loves you. And as you can see right behind me on the computer, Lick Winter, Long Island, New York. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, God truly loves you.